no one's ever told me this before. This is a tomato plant and I can guarantee you, you are starting these wrong. I always talk about the idea of bumping up and how plants do benefit from a little bit of stress. However, I posted on my story over on Instagram how I bump up my tomatoes and everyone's like, no, 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 you need to do a video on this because no one's ever told me this before. So let's get into it. On your tomato plant, you have tiny little hairs and these tiny little hairs are called trichomes. These trichomes have absolutely nothing to do with roots and everything to do with the scent of your plant, protection, some plants they use it for shade, you name it none of these turn into roots. What does turn into roots are those little tiny nubs. So the little warts that you see on the side of tomato plants, those are the actual roots. Now these aren't roots that you normally would see on the bottom of the plant. These are called advantageous roots. And advantageous roots come in all different shapes and sizes. On corn, they look kind of like a tarantula on the bottom. And on tomatoes, it's mostly just for support. The idea of sinking your tomato plant is something Thing that came from the University of Texas. Now, they did some studies or trials on the actual plants going outdoors. So when they brought the plants outside, they did notice a benefit to sinking the plant deeper. That's what she said. Now it has nothing to really do with moisture or nutrients, but everything to do with actually the soil temperature. And I've done a video on soil temp and why tomatoes are planted in that way. Now the other way that you could plant them is on their sides. And if you plant them on your side, then you also may be gaining some benefit if you're looking for more water capture on a horizontal level. But if you're going through a drought year, for example, like most of North America is at this point, going on the side's probably not gonna serve you any because the top portion of your soil is going to be drying out a lot this year. So you might wanna skip it when it comes to side planting. Now, when you bump them up, this is where I think people are, are confused. I've seen a lot of people bump them up and sink them to their cotyledons or, you know, deeper. They'll try to get to the bottom of the container. Now, I want us to think about this logically. Okay, this is editing Ashley here. I'm out here in a bunny hug, uh, my nightgown, and I just showered. And this is my Clark Kent look, just an FYI. Part of the reason I'm laughing or chuckling in this video is because this is a great example of scientific rigor setting in for me personally because I was so stubborn in the depth that you transplant and you bump up into, I did the complete opposite of what I've been doing as of the last two-ish years. And that is completely because I'm always learning. Like I, I'm constantly reading new research. I'm constantly looking at new trials. And this is something, one of the things that I've changed, I've changed my opinion on it. So take that for what it is. Um, that's, I was laughing at myself more so, not at you guys, because it's kind of funny. I want us to think about this logically. If our roots are down here and our soil is up here, and we know roots don't go up, but that the advantageous roots, which are mostly there for just structural support and don't really do much in regards to capturing of nutrients or water, are what's going to make up the bulk of the stem, you actually don't have much room for your tomato to make more roots because the roots that do the heavy lifting for us are all of these little white roots that are have root hairs and they divide and they're much finer and these are the ones that work on passive and active transports what you want to do when you're bumping up is to give your tomato plant as much possible room to occupy with the roots that are of the most value the ones that dig for water and nutrients so when you transplant up just into the bumping up portion, don't sink your tomato. Give them the space to grow their roots. Roots as close to the surface as possible because now I have a whole flipping container of water and nutrients and soil that my roots can move into. And I know for a fact, when I start seeing roots coming out the bottom, that this entire container is full and not just half, which is what most people end up with because they put them in the middle. If you want to put them in the middle, just don't put soil on the top of the, above that, right? Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below how you pot up your plant.